Hey guys, I wanted to show you something I uh, figured out uh, this afternoon. Uh, what you see here is something called a tank bot, and basically it's a small um, little robot that you can get from Target for 20 bucks. And um, you know you can play around with it. Um, it um, runs in autonomous mode. It does um, like uh, mazes. It can run mazes, uh, and then it can just kind of just do random stuff. Uh, the third option um, is you can control it and with this little adapter and you can see it's got an audio jack on it and what you do is you plug that audio jack into your smartphone or your uh, Apple device like an iPad or a iPod or just your iPhone and you can download an app you can download an app off the Apple um, App Store or you can do it with also an Android as well and this kind of sparked my interest because I, on the robotics kit that we're building for the Middle Tennessee Robotic Arts Society, um, this kit has an RF, um, I'm not sorry, not RF, but an IR receiver. And this is an IR emitter. So what you can do is you can program the kit to respond um, off this little adapter here. So you can see here, I've got my iPad 2 and I can go ahead and turn that on. Let me go ahead and just put in my password here. And here is the app that you can download for free on the on any app store. So what I can do is I can you know there's a little on off switch on it, so you want to make sure you got it turned on, but you just plug it into your audio jack. And then if this isn't plugged up, you can actually hear it's making a noise when you move these joysticks up and down so this converts that audible signal and into a IR so um, I can turn on the robotics kit and you know mine's got the RFID tag reader on it so let me go ahead and activate it and now the way I've programmed it is if I take this joystick and move it in the down position that tells the MTRAS kit that um, to go into an iPad um, remote control mode. Now if I move this up, it'll turn right. If I move this down, it'll turn left. If I do both of these up, it'll go forward. Both of these, it'll go back. And then if I take this and slide it back down, it should stop it. Now it's a little buggy right now. I just, fit, you know, just stumbled upon this tonight. I need to work, uh, work on the programming some more. But I'm going to go ahead and show you. So I'm just going to go ahead and make it turn right. So I'm going to take it and I'll just slide it straight up. Oh, that's probably not. Let's see. Oh, let me reset this. Okay, here we go. So go ahead and slide that down. Okay, so now the program, now the robot knows what's going on. So I can go ahead and slide it up. And you can see. And then I can go ahead and slide it down and it'll go in the other direction and like I said if I slide this one down it should cancel it which it did um, the range isn't that great um, let's see here let me go ahead and make it go forward and then I can cancel it you can see it's canceled and then I can make it come back and then I can cancel okay see so anyways, I thought that was pretty cool. So, you know, you can go to Target, like I said, get the tank bot. It's really, you know, it's pretty cool to play with, you know. I've enjoyed it so far. But, you know, and then this little idea sparked in my head and you know, the iPad, a lot of uh, smartphones they don't have IR, but th you know, this is all open, you know, this is all free stuff that you can do as far as the app is concerned. So, like I said, you know, it's this is this little dongles. You know, you can do a lot with it. You know, it's, it's basically like a remote control. So, anyways, I thought that was pretty cool. If you have any questions, um, let me know. Um, like I said, it's really easy. You just use a, you just you know, with the basic programming, you just do a, you just run a little command to read the IR input off the IR receiver that turns it into a numerical value and based on that numerical value you can do you can write a small program saying if this then do that so if this equals 13 then turn left if this equals 14 then turn right so on and so forth anyways I thought it was pretty cool so see you later